Hey, my fellow motion designers. Welcome back. It's another cinema tutorial this time, and it's gonna be a quick one. But I really just wanted to share this cool technique with you guys out there, and I really wanna see what you can do with it. So without further ado, let's jump into cinema, and I'm gonna show you how to make this felt blowing simulation. All right, so here inside of cinema, we are first of all gonna start by making a sphere. So we have something that we can generate our smoke from. And this sphere will just sit to 50 centimeters. Then I'll right click, go to my tag, say simulation tags, go down to the pyro emitter. So now we have some smoke. So here inside of our pyro emitter, we can first of all go and turn off the temperature. And as you can see now, now we only have a little bit of buoyancy left. Then we can go and set our density add to one. And we can also set our density to one. Then I'm gonna go down here to my frame zero and I'm gonna set a keyframe for my density. Then I'm gonna go to frame two and then I'm gonna uncheck my enable density. And I'm also gonna keyframe that. So now I have this density that is slowly disappearing. And we don't actually want that. So let's press Ctrl D. Let's go into our simulation project settings on our pyro. And let's first of all change some settings here. So first of all, we're gonna go down to our density tab down here, pull the density dissipation away. So now we just have this blob going on and it will never disappear. So we need a little bit more resolution and we'll put this down to three centimeters. Let's take a look at that. Looks a bit better. And then I'm gonna set the buoyancy to minus one instead of minus five. And I think that's it for all of the configuration. So now we're only gonna take a look at this turbulence tab here. So I'm just gonna pull up the strength to a thousand and let's see what that does. It makes these wild, wild clouds that are actually looking pretty nice. So this is like the core of the whole system. We wanna control these clouds. And the way we do that is by going over to the scene of our simulations and we're just gonna keyframe or time scale. So let me just set a keyframe here. Add one on frame zero. Let's go to frame 30 and set a time scale of point two. I think that should be good. Or point one. That could also be fine. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room here to work with. So let's set our timeline to 200. So let's zoom out a bit and let's move our keyframes to begin at frame 40. All right, let's see what happens. So as you can see, we have this smoke going on and it's just slowly ramping down. And I think if we just set it to 0.1 instead, our last keyframe, it will look so much more epic. Yeah, that's looking super nice. So I'm actually just going to move it to frame 50. Let's see what that does. So we just get a little bit more of this billowing smoke here. It's looking super nice. So I'll actually set it to 45 and that should be good. Yeah, so now we don't have that much chaos. We have a little bit more definition in our clouds. So now we have our smoke, our controller for our particles. So now we actually need to create the particles. And it's super, super simple. We just need to go up to our simulation tab here, make a mesh emitter. And inside of this mesh emitter, we'll just pull in our sphere as the geometry. And we can also set it to 10,000. So then I'm gonna go up to simulations again, go down to modifier and use a pyro advect. And this pyro advect, we're just gonna put it under our particle group. So let's see what happens when we press play. We have some particles forming 
and they are taking the velocity of our smoke. But it's a bit chaotic right now. It almost just looks like some sparks that are flying away and we want it to more look like this cloud we just created. So let's go here to our mess emitter again. So I'll first of all just check on this range here and what it does, it just says that we'll only emit particles in 0 to 30 frames. So what I actually want to set my range to is the part in the beginning where nothing is happening. So things are starting to happen at frame 40, I think. So 30 is actually good enough for me. And then I also want to put one more zero, so 100,000 here. And as you can see, we still have the same problem, just with a lot more particles. But our particles are not hanging around down here in the beginning, which is super nice. So how do we control this miss? Well, it's super simple. Just go up to your old simulation text here, make a friction, and just set it to 50. And that is it. So as you can see here, it follows the curve of our smoke and it's looking super super nice and if you want it to follow the smoke a little bit more closely you can pull the strength up and if you want it to be a little bit more frayed or random in the edges you can pull it down and if you pull it down you can see you get a little bit more of this randomness going on but it still has this really nice turbulence look to it so that's super cool. All right, so now I have this cool simulation here and we just need to make it into felt now. So how do we do this without crashing your computer? Well, it's actually fairly simple. If we go to frame zero and just hide our sphere here, we can go and make a circle. And this circle, I'm just gonna set to 20 centimeters just to make it nice. I'm also going to set the uniform numbers to 16. Then I'm going to put it inside of cloner, make it a radial cloner, pull the radius down to zero, and I'm just going to up the count to something like 30. And with our cloner selected, I'm going to make a random effector over here. And I'm going to turn off the position, and I'm only going to use the P rotation here. So you can also use some H rotation, just like this, but we want to get this uneven ball here. Awesome. So let's right click on our cloner and let's say connect object and delete. So now we have this ball with all of these points on it. So what we're going to do now is go down here and make a displacer, put it under our cloner, go into the shading tab, make a noise and inside of this noise we're just gonna pull global scale down and just gonna go out here make the height a little bit bigger something like this yeah i think that should be good and then i just need to go to my cloner here and i'm gonna say connect state to object and now i have this really nice cloner over here and i can just delete my first cloner with the displays on it let's call this felt so now that we have our felt, let's first of all just sit it in the middle again. And then we can go here and make a extrude. Then we can pull it inside of the extrude. I'll set my extrude here to 0.1. And then I'm going to go to my caps here and I'm going to say no start cap, no end cap. Awesome. Then I'm just going to go and say connect objects, and delete. And I'm just going to delete these tags over here. And now we have this extrude here. Awesome. Just gonna call it felt again. So now we have this felt particle and we just need to distribute it onto our particle group. So the way we do that is pretty simple. As you know, we just make a cloner, put it inside of the cloner, set the cloner to object mode, and we'll just pull in our particle group. Awesome. And as you can see here, we have a lot of particles. And I'm actually just, before I forget, I'm going to set the instance mode 
to render instance or multi instance, and this will hopefully make it a little bit easier on the machine. So let's see what's happening here. Boom. We have this big explosion of these felt particles. And one thing we need to do is go inside of the transform tab and just set the scale to 0.2, something like this. And I think that should be actually good. I'm just gonna go into my cloner and I'm just gonna hide it from my viewport here. I'll just go up here to redshift and let's quickly just make a cool scene. So let's first of all make a dome light and let's go to details and we can pull every single one of them down. All right, just like that. Then I'm just gonna hide it in my viewport again and then I'll go and make a light and I'll just place it above something like that so get a little bit of backlight but not that much front light and then I'm just going to go into the intensity set it to 10 instead of pull the spread down a bit here something like that and let's press render and let's see where we are so as you can see we also need to hide our particles here and we need to do a little bit more stuff to make this actually look real because it looks great right now but we need to select our cloner and we need to make a random effector and inside of this random effector we'll turn off the position and we'll just go and put a lot of rotation on it and then i actually also want to go here set it to uniform scale and just say 0.5 and this will make it a little bit less uniform and a little bit cooler to look at. So let's go over here, make a material. Let's put it on our felt. And let's go in here and let's set the color to something like this red here. That is cool. And I'm just going to pull up the roughness to something like this. 0.5. And let's also set our resolution to 1080 so you guys can see it in the full glory let's undock it and as you probably can see here we have a really nice look that really doesn't cost that much to actually do on your cpu or in cinema at all so one last thing here if you just go out and go to your project settings again under the pyro tab you can just click through the sheets of your turbulence and it'll just give you a new look each time and this is like a really nice way to get some really dynamic clouds in a really fast manner so that was it for this quick cinema tutorial i really hope that you liked it and i'm definitely gonna do some more videos on this new cinema particle system because it's a super nice addition to cinema so if you enjoyed this tutorial then please go and subscribe it really helps me out by making all of these videos for you guys so if you have any questions or you want to show me what your result is from this tutorial then please dm me on instagram i'd love to see how it turned out so without further ado i'll just say go out there make some awesome awesome renders and I'll see you back here on the channel for some more cinema magic. Goodbye.